Hello all. Welcome to Tip Top C Sharp tutorial series. Today we will be looking at generic collection type dictionary. We have already covered other collection types in previous videos. We would recommend you to go through those videos once. I will have those links in the description section below. Let's try to understand dictionary in detail. As dictionary is a bigger topic, we have divided dictionary in two parts. First part will be covering operations that, that we can do on the dictionary. And in second part, we'll be trying to cover internals of the dictionary, how it is implemented and what all algorithms are used to achieve all these functions. Today's agenda will be, first we'll cover basics of dictionary and then we'll have some hands-on and then operations and complexity associated with all these operations. Dictionary can be described as collection of key value pairs. We use key to fetch value. In dictionary, specifying the size of dictionary at the time of initialization is optional. As we keep on adding the element, the size of the dictionary will grow. That's why this is also dynamic sizing. Elements of the dictionary can be accessed through either specifying key or by using for each loop where we have to traverse through each of the elements. So let's see dictionary in action. For ease of recording, I have already created project. I'll just flip to Visual Studio. Creating new dictionary is simple. You need to just sp specify the type of key and the type of value. Let's see. Dictionary, you can have string and then string. These can be different also, so I will use integer just for understanding. So my first dictionary equals to new dictionary. Either you can use reference type. I already created a class called as my class. I will use it in dictionary. So dictionary my class and here I want to use a string. So either of way you can use either it can be reference type or it can be value type. It does not matter. So I'll just get rid of the second dictionary. Let's see how to add elements in the dictionary. My first dictionary dot add here as you can see I need to specify the key first that is string as I already declared that is it can be first name and the value I want to give it is maybe 100 add second name I am adding the second item this is one way of adding elements into the dictionary there is another way of adding where you can specify full name equals to three. What is the difference between this statement and this statement is in first statement we are trying to add a new element. So if there already exists an element with the same key, then dictionary will throw an exception. But in second case, if there is a key exist with the same name, then it will assign this value to that or if there is no item with this key then it will create a new entry in the dictionary. As now we have seen adding of the element let's see how to retrieve element from the dictionary. Retrieving of the element from the dictionary can be done using here key is first name. I'll use key and then so this is how we can retrieve. I can print it.
Now if I execute it, I can see that I'm fetching 100 value back. So this way we can add an element into the dictionary or we can retrieve an element using the key. This portion fetching in value using key can be tricky because if there is no key exist with that name then dictionary will throw an exception key not found exception in that case there is a better way of accessing an element my first dictionary and try get value where you have to specify the key here in my case it is and then you need to i and this method will also return true or false in it in case the key does not exist it returns false as well so when you see a dictionary where the fetching of the value is failing multiple times or many times then better to go for try get value and when you are sure that the value exists in the dictionary then use this moving on to traverse dictionary I'll just delete these things. To traverse dictionary, we used to use for each, where item in my first dictionary. This is how you can traverse through, and dictionary always returns you a list of key value pair. As I mentioned at the beginning, dictionary is a collection of key value pair. That's why you will get an enumerator of key value pair and in for each loop we'll be iterating through it so if i want to print value then so if i execute it i have added one item that is first name and value is 100 so i should get that as in my output now we can see that the key and value is printed over here Dictionary also provides a method or a way to access either only keys or only values. In case for some logical operations, if you want to access only keys, then you can access like my dictionary dot keys, which will be a key value pair, which will be a list. I suppose so in case if you want to do some additional operations just on key or just on values then you can iterate through you can you can get the list of keys or list of values by using keys and values for many of the other operation we may want to before adding in key into the dictionary we may want to see whether my dictionary contains a key. Dictionary also provide a facility to check whether my dictionary contains a specified element. So I can use that contains contains key where I pass in the key. and then I can do whatever operation I want. In the same way, it's with the value. So you can specify contains value and then you can pass in the value that you are having. And then the method returns either true or false. If the value exists, then it returns true. And if value does not exist, then it returns false. You have to remember that contains value or contains key is a costly operation in dictionary. Every other operation is big O of one, but whereas contains value and contains key is a costlier operation where it has to traverse through each and every item within the dictionary and to and decide whether key or the specified item exists inside or not. Apart from this one, Dictionary also provides another method that is remove. 
as you can add the item you can also remove item within the dictionary to remove item you need to specify the key so here we'll try to remove this one we'll get rid of this one first we'll first print in a count within the dictionary that is my first dictionary dot count where it has to specify that one item is there and once if I remove I should see that the count should be zero so let's execute this one and see so as you can see first we are getting one because we are having one item and we are removing an item from the dictionary so you can see that the count is back to zero so this count can also be used to see the number of elements within the dictionary if we go to the implementation of dictionary you can see that dictionary implements many other functionalities methods and one of them is i enumerable so if you see enumerable it is understood that dictionary also supports link queue operation so if you want to do many other operation link queue operation mainly on dictionary you can do it so let's see how to do it where you want to get item dot key is exactly equals to first name so in this way you can do multiple link queue operations on the dictionary as well whenever you want to fetch whenever you want to do some other operations you can do in dictionary as well so that's are the main operations that are provided by dictionary i'll just revise whatever we have already learned key and value should be added in the dictionary together at the same time while adding an item value added in the dictionary can be fetched using key you need to use key to get the value from the dictionary try to use try get value if there is higher chances of failure use for each to traverse the dictionary contains key and contains value or costly operation because it has to traverse through each and every item within the dictionary remove and by specifying the key can be used to remove an item from the dictionary dictionary implements i enumerable it indicates that all link queue operations are supported in the dictionary moving on these are the operation complexity for dictionary adding a value at the initial step stage will be big o of 1 adding a key once exceeding the capacity will be big o of n plus 1 this will explain in detail in the next video because we have to understand internal details of the dictionary how hashing hash table and all those things work retrieving value using key is most of the times big o of 1 clearing everything from the dictionary is also big o of 1 as I already mentioned in the previous discussions contains value or contains key both are big O of n because it has to compare each and every element within the dictionary removing of a key is also a big O of 1 because it's a direct operation that's it from dictionary let us know if I have missed out any of the operations that are in the list do check out our next video we'll be uploading it soon Thank you very much. Have a nice day.